What's going on guys? This is your boy Shots by Pat. Welcome back to the channel. And this is my desk setup. But before we do that, I previously did a photo shoot for Valentine's Day with an amazing couple. The setup was in their home. You may have seen a few of the pictures on my Shots by Pat Instagram page. But I'm going to show you what went into that entire shoot. The couple itself, their home, how I had the whole thing set up. And then you'll see some photos that you did not see before. Once I do that, we're just gonna jump right into me showing off my desk. All right, stay tuned. So now that you've seen the behind the scenes of my last photo shoot, it's time to get into the reason how you got here. It's the desk setup. Welcome to the desk setup. First thing is first, is the desk. Now I can't tell you where the desk came from. Okay, I lie. It came from Ikea, but the desk came so long ago, I have no idea if they still sell it. But if they do, I will link it down into the description and you'll see for yourself if it's there or not. I use the magic mouse from Apple, came with my iMac, and as a wrist support, I have this wrist rest that I got from Amazon. Underneath, you can see it's a little dusty, I have to do some cleaning again, but you see my two terabytes of storage. One of them is a 12 terabyte, and the other one is a one terabyte. Next up is my 2013 MacBook Air. It sits in this dock that I got from Amazon, it's pretty cool. Next to that is my Shots by Pat Media LLC notebook. I use it to write notes. I use it to look at things, write down certain things. See, I like to scribble a lot. X out a whole bunch of things. But it serves a purpose. Sometimes you just want to write and not type. Next there are my Beats by Dre wireless headphones. They, I'm not sure if they're the solo Beats. Um, probably not though, as of right now they're charging on the charging dock for my iMac, as well as uh, the microphone itself is being plugged in. The stand that it's on is also an iPad uh, headphone stand that I got from Amazon and it's cool because I get to store USBs that I need. So this whole setup has a whole lot of storage options, whether it be my terabytes, my um, external hard drives, or I call them terabytes, uh, my external hard drives, or these USB drives. So now you see a random mouse just sitting right here. It's not really random, why? Because that mouse that you see right there is the Logitech M170 and it controls my 2020 iPad Air. iPad Air, I'm sorry, iPad Pro. Let me not disrespect myself. You just saw my code, guys. Uh-oh. Um, my iPad Pro from 2020, it is the 128 gigabyte. As you can see, I use my iPad Pro for LumaFusion. As you can see, I'm editing something right now on LumaFusion. It is my go-to now when I edit videos on the iPad. If I'm not editing on the iPad, I'm editing on the iMac itself. And this is my 2017 iMac 21.5 display. As you can see the rendering or the recording of this video on right now, I'm using GarageBand. Just a quick, quick way to record my items or record this voiceover. Underneath that is my Alexa Echo Show. Echo Show 5 to be exact. Use this as my speaker. 
And next to that is my Anchor wireless charging pad. I throw my phone on there when I'm not using it to edit or when I'm not using it to shoot footage, which you probably may see I'm using it right now to skip all of the footage for this episode. Underneath that is the remote control for my BenQ monitor light. Let's go scroll up. And here it is right here. With a push of a button, the whole thing lights up. And it works well because it gives extra lighting as it shoots all the way down onto the keyboard itself. And as you can see, I'm using the Magic Keyboard for Apple. This is pretty dope. I, I learned about this from other people that does uh, desk setups. And I thought it was a pretty cool thing to have on your desk to make sure your lighting is perfect. And with a press of a button, it goes right off. So the mic that I'm using is the Audio Technica mic, and it is attached to the, hold on, let me get the name correct because I just recently bought it. It's the Gear mic stand, and I have it connected to the side of my desk, which allows it to go in and out, and I can use it at any time I want to. Now, when I put it back, sometimes it knocks onto this right here, this part of the edge. As you can see, the edge may be running, running, running out a little bit. Um, because of it knocking into it time and time again, but it works perfectly for what I need it to work for Now behind everything you may see some lighting and The lighting that I'm using are two Philip Hue bulbs in which I can turn the color at any time I want with a flick of a finger or I can tell Alexa change the desk light to red And there you go and it is anchored by two stands that I got from Ikea. The one desk accessory that I must mention is this stand that the iMac is currently sitting on. What's so nifty about this is it has two drawers. First drawer I could just pull out and I used to keep my iPad on there. Then I got this stand, this nice little iPad Pro stand that I got from Amazon, but I won't show you guys. I'll just leave it in the description. And this other one is another drawer and I could also put things to sit on there, like if I wanted to use my phone. But also, this is where I can store some wires or some hard drives or USBs or connectors or styluses or anything that I want. I could use it to put in there. Push it back in, and it's no longer in sight. Underneath, there's nothing there, but all I usually do is I put my Magic Keyboard right underneath. My glasses I put right here, and I usually keep it right there for quick and easy storage. And that's pretty much it, guys. So guys, now that you've seen my desk setup, you see where I do all my work, my editing, um, the platforms I use, all my accessories and everything that I have right here. So just wanna say thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hit that notification button so you can know when the next time I upload a video, all right? Peace, guys.